Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Grace, I like baking, I like trying things that I've never tried before and something I'm going to try today as you gather from the title is what I think look like the hardest recipe on Bake Off. Now this is the tennis cake and it's an old Victorian recipe so I've printed off the recipe. Now the only thing that I will say is for the fondant we're going to have to use ready made because I could not find for love nor money glycerin in anywhere near me like no supermarkets i've been on a wild goose chase for some glycerin and there was none so we are going to use pre-made fondant don't know you do. for that let's get started on the first step i've printed it out so we seem really official number one preheat oven to 140 fan and grease a 23 by 15 centimeter rectangle tin i'm doing something that whenever i watch bake off i'm like you can't know better than mary berry but i've actually greased and lined a slightly different size tin because this recipe for the cake has five eggs, which normally, if you've got more than three eggs, I usually use this tin because it's the perfect size for it. So I am going rogue, and I feel like they've written down the wrong measurements. They might have, and I feel also, even when they were making the cake, I feel like it looked like the size, but then as, again, I do have the worst like mathematical brain. So maybe just my size reference wasn't quite right. But now we're going to get on to step number two, which is getting straight into the baking. Other than the changes that I've already made, which I know you're probably already rolling your eyes, I'm not going to make any changes to the recipe and I'm going to follow this religiously, even though I already haven't really followed it religiously. But I just feel like I know cake tins and that cake tin for five eggs is going to be the right size. You know, the description on this recipe says a great birthday cake. I'm not being funny, but no one is worth this amount of time for a cake. I'm thinking like chocolate cake at the max. Although at the same time, I can't wait to make birthday cakes for my kids. I've said it before, but I just think I'm going to have so much fun. Like, what if my child really likes trains? That'll be fun, won't it? Make like a good train cake. I'm already gonna look on Pinterest. I feel like my kid will be into trains. Last say cherries are so beautiful, yet so grim to eat, aren't they? My cherries are all cut, and now we rinse them under some running water. This is so you get the stickiness off. I do feel a bit bad for glass day cherries because most of the times recipes are like make sure they're drained of any syrup and I feel like they work so hard making that glass day cherry syrup and then every time it's like yeah get rid of that. Okay now let's look at our next step. We said drain and roughly chop the pineapple then dry the pineapple and cherries very thoroughly on kitchen paper. Heck I'm on top of the head. Can you kick it? Yes you can. Where's my pineapple? in the tin. How do you want this chopped then? Drain and roughly chop. This is just pineapple juice, so if you really want, you can actually drink the pineapple juice out of it, so you don't have that going to waste. This is very interesting that this has pineapple in. Crime your river! Popped all the fruit in there, we've got the apricots, the cherries, and the pineapple. And now I'm chopping up the flipping almonds, and I hate chopping nuts. I really do, because what happens is, you cut one, and then it pings off. And they just like roll about anywhere. If anyone has a little hack, I mean, other than like bashing it with a rolling pin, blitzing them with a the food processor, because then when you blitz them with a the food processor, then they do just get bashed to actual smithereens. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Now we crack out one of the greatest things that has been blessed into my life. This microplane right here. It's a, I got it for my birthday. And it's like a greater slash zester, but it is the best one on the planet. You just have to zest up two lemons. But remember, don't get the white in there because the white, what does it do? It makes it bitter. Look at all that. You just poke it down. Now we just want to give it a little mix together. Oh, that is fantastic. Just remember that I need to add the sultanas. So giving those a mix in there too. Now we do the most simple one then which is we make the cake mixture. The butter and the caster sugar are just gonna get getting mixed together so they get all nice and creamy. Go on guys, get creamy! Now we go in with the eggs one at a time. Oh, we did two, but it's fine. Now if you take a little look here, it says fold in the flour and ground almonds. And if you take a look over here, there is no ground almonds in the cake section. This is the cake, there are no ground almonds. Now there's ground almonds for the almond paste, but none for this. So I don't really know what to do. Do I just freestyle it? I'm gonna go with what I feel like is right. I would say like 100 grams. Although 100 grams feels like a lot when we've already got the 
Who else? Well, just almonds in there. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go 75 grams. Because 50 grams would be like, what's the point of having it in there? 100 grams might be too much. Because I feel like 75 grams still gives it what it needs, you know what I mean? Going in. It's looking good, it's looking cakey, and I've got to add all these in. This is going to be massive. I don't think my KitchenAid has ever been this full in its whole life. Okay, now we smush it out into the cake pan. Whilst we're in the oven, we're not in the oven, whilst the cake is in the oven, I am going to prep the other bits. So now we are going to make our marzipan. I have my ground almonds, cost sugar, and icing sugar in here, and then we're adding an egg and the almond extract you just mix it up really but it actually does say don't over knead this will make it oily number one's oily marzipan i'm just gonna get my hand involved here i feel like in hannah montana you know when she puts ketchup on her hand and she's like it's really moisturizing i feel like my hand's gonna be really moisturized after this after all the almond that's it but we're getting there now. That is one lovely big lump. I have also just made the icing, but I didn't film that because I was just in the zone and I kind of forgot I was filming a video. So I was just there like whisking it up, so sorry. Um, so we've got the marzipan and the icing ready to go. Now I need to clean up all of this. Now the cake's only been in for one hour and it smells a little bit burnt. Um, so I am gonna check on it. Yeah, it's a little bit burnt. On you know what, I think it's cooked. It's only been in there for an hour, and it's supposed to be in there for two hours, but you know my oven. She's temperamental queenie. That looks perf. Perf the girl. This looks exactly how I wanted it to look. Our cake has been out for 15 minutes, and then it says to turn it out onto a wire cooling rack. Oh, this is a bit of a, st <laughs> this is a sticky situation. That's it, that's it, my son. That's it, my doll. It's got all of that, it's a really heavy cake. It's got all that fruit in it. Um, so I feel like it's gonna take literal years, which is cool. Um, it's quite dark, we literally rescued it in the nick of time. If I'd have put a two hour timer on that, we would have been scuffed. See, I think it's like nearly cool on the sides there, but I think we've rescued it in the nick of time. As I anticipated, this cake is blooming taking forever to, uh, Sorry, I just was gasping for a drink. The cake has taken an age to um, dry. Dry? Cool. But it's fine, we're gonna adapt them over time. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna prep the football pitch, the tennis pitch. We're not doing football, we're doing a tennis, tennis court. Um, and I am gonna use my fondant here. Fondant? That's probably because in my head, I'm thinking of Buddy, you know, he's like, fondant. Carlos's bakery. Um, I've got my fondant here, which unfortunately we couldn't make from scratch. Um, as I already said, very sad. I'm gonna just half it because I feel like I will not need that much. Now this could be um interesting because I don't want it to be a gross green. I want it to be lovely, pale, delicate little green colour. So bear with me whilst I try and mix this together. I also really don't want to get it on my hands. I have a feeling my hands are going to look like Shrek once I've mixed this all together. Get your anger out early. Knead it like your life depends on it. I'm going to add a bit more in there. Oh heck, I might have just accidentally gone a little hard on the green there. I don't want it like putrid, fluorescent green. I want it nice and pale. Oh, that's lovely. For me, why is it not showing you? It's actually a really nice green colour, I promise. It's quite thick looking on the cake. It's quite a thicky boy. Not quite there yet, you guys. Not quite there at all. So close. I was really concentrating for this bit, so I didn't end up saying anything, but basically, I was using the cake tin as a guide for how big it should be because obviously I used a slightly different size to what they said on the recipe and I was just cutting it out and it fit perfectly. That looks absolutely stunning. Come on. Don't tell me that that isn't beautiful. She's beautiful. Right now I put that on a grease bruised bit of paper so that I can just flip it onto the marzipan. And I'm going to do the same with the marzipan now. With our white fondant, we just have to roll a little tennis ball. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, we have a nice tennis ball, but the ratios I feel like are gonna be the hardest, the hardest part. But there we go. This is my tiny little tennis ball. It's too small. I think the marzipan might actually take a bit more elbow grease because it's feeling quite a, quite a hard. Oh heck, this is gonna take, I feel like I've got, got to be patient with this one. Oh yeah, that's lovely and pliable now. 
See, sometimes perseverance is the most important trait of all. Shabuya, sha sha shabuya, roll call. We've done it. I might just need to patch up that a little bit. No, you know what? I'm gonna just leave it. Again, I was concentrating too much, so I stopped talking. But basically, I had to put the fondant on top of the marzipan. Um, and this is what I'm doing here. I just rolled it onto my rolling pin and then rolled it on top and bish bash bosh. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Woohoo! There's our two layers. Woo! Party, party. Now I feel like I need to sit down again. Honestly, it really does take it out of you. Right, I'm going to now clean up this station. And what we're going to do is we're then going to work on our royal icing. Now we've got to do the tricksy bit and pipe a tennis court. Now I don't have a thin flat nozzle. So that is going to be, I'm going to blame that on my fallback here. But I'm going to have to try my best um, to do it even when I don't have. The right nozzle. Sorry, I had to hold my breath then. I'm just going to have to do it with this chunky one, which isn't going to look nice, but I'm just going to have to do it because... Ah! We got a break! Oh, it's a chunky tennis court net thing, um, but we're just going to have to roll with it. And then we also need to make a tennis racket, and this is going to be very funny with this massive nozzle. I know, I know, a good baker never blames his tools, but I'm blaming my tool. Alright, I don't have the right nozzle for it. I've, I'm wondering, should I do two sets of quartz? Oh, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking the... I'm bre no, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go with it. Now, I really want to adhere this onto the cake. <gasps> the cake's cool! It's taking me so long flipping back and around making this. But the cake is cool. I repeat, the cake is cool. But surely it needs a bit of like apricot jam to adhere that to that. Ooh. Oh, I am feeling antsy. Oh! Heck. Oh no, my, my corner has crumbled. I, it got stuck. It's a little bit lumpy. But hey, aren't we all a little bit lumpy? If everyone was perfect, the world would be a very boring place. I'm happy. Okay, we've got the base. Now what we need to do is we need to pipe our tennis court. What you want to do is you want to treat it like string. So you basically like drape... Oh, we've had a break. You drape the icing like it's rope. So you do a little dot like this. And then you basically like let it flow out. I am not too mad at that. I'm tempted to just pipe the tennis racket straight on. And now what we need to do is we need to go around the cake and do little boop, 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 little piping beauties. Again, this nozzle is far too chunky to do what I'm about to do, but I have about three nozzles. And this is like the best of a bad bunch. So my special ones are hidden away in the attic. So I'm just gonna have to make do, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be here for hours piping these little blobs. Kind of therapeutic though, kind of not hating it. But the problem is when I'm focusing, weirdly enough, I don't talk. It's the one time you'll get me silent. I need to chat because I need to fill you in on what I'm doing, but I'm just too in the zone. So I'm just piping my little, heck, I did a blob out of line. Get back in line, will you single file, you absolute minx. Heck, I don't know if that was the right idea, but I've done it now. Us two bleeding late. Oh, they're all melting. This icing was not thick enough. Paul and Mary would not approve. Oh my gosh, we've got a melter. Right, they start off so strong and then they just go. They literally just like melt out over everything. Oh heck, I think the heat of my hand because I'm so stressed doing this. Oh, it's all going to pop. Do I just do a line? No. My icing's far too runny. I kind of gave up towards the end because they're just melting, so there's no point in even trying to make it look nice. This is what they started like, and you can see, and now they're just melting out over the whole thing. Now I've got to do the same in pink. It's just going to blend together and look like one hot tie-dye mess. But you know what? To some people, that might be what they want in a cake. They might want a tie-dye mess. So there's beauty in everything. So that's my message, and that's what I'd say to Paul and Mary. I'd say, you know what, guys? You are just pessimists. You're just glass half empty because you can't see the beauty in what I've created. You can't see the real potential that this cake has. You need to think more creatively, guys. You think you're creative? You think you've got imagination? Nah. Not when you're thinking, not when you're saying that about a cake. We've got pink to make Maul and Perry. Maul and Perry? Perry and Maul. Maury and Paul. 
Mary and Paul wink. I feel like I'm just going to draw a line because it's going to blur into a line. So I might as well just be a nice pink line instead. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with my decision there. Whatever happened to artistic license? Beautiful, stunning scenes here at Casa Wimbledon. These are not drying and they've just bled into another. See, that was, that is my problem. I clearly didn't whisk up the eggs enough. As you can see, it's dark out. It's currently nine o'clock. And I think, I'm hoping that my tennis court is dry. <gasps> Peck, how am I gonna put it? My icing is being thrown away. No, someone's throwing my icing away because I need it to adhere this bit because this bit is hard now. How am I gonna adhere this? Oh heck, I just broken it. This this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be tricksy. Come on, Grace. Oh, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking the. I'm bre oh no, guys! It actually looks so flipping cute, even with my uh, my creative light. I don't know how to put this on. Okay, well there you go. Imagine I've done that on there. <laughs> That would actually look so cute if I had icing left, but as you can see, someone has tidied away my icing. I had it left right here, and now it is gone. Right, it's time to cut into it. It was a bit dry. I love rectangular cakes. I feel like it looks so much better than a circle. I am bringing it to the taste pro. Okay, cake meister. Very good. Is it? Mm. Words for improvement and words for... More of it. It's only had a little bit and... Was it a bit dry? No. Really? Yeah. How was it with the pineapple chilling in there? Didn't overly get a lot of the pineapple. Oh, that's good so though. I reserve judgment. So I managed to do it. I managed to make the tennis cake, kind of. Um, the main the main components were there apart from the tennis net. Uh, but I couldn't do anything about it. But any other videos you want to see from me, let me know down below. I love you all loads. Peace out.